Hey guys, Rugged Elf here. How's everybody doing today? Uh, today, um, I want to show you how to find a portal for your glyphs, okay? Um, I put out a couple uh, videos with the ships and stuff. You know, find exotics and a couple solar ships, but um, some of you may not be aware of how to, you know, actually get to that locations to find those ships. So what I want to do in my hindsight is actually, you know, give everybody a chance, you know, show you how you can, um, you know, get to it, find yourself a portal, maybe set your base up in a portal like I do all the time. So, um, first thing you're going to need in order to do that is you're going to need to have some navigation data because you're going to have to go over to the cartographer and exchange them. And you can find this navigation data in um, space stations. Uh, when you go to waypoints, you go hit all saves in your waypoints, you can find them. But in order to do this, another thing you are going to need to have is going to be your glyphs. Okay, you need to have all 16 of your glyphs in order to in order to get to them. And I just noticed this myself, you know, you wear these things out when you're, as you use them. So, that's cool. But you need to find your glyphs. You can get your glyphs by looking for travelers on the space stations and getting the graves. Or by getting, um, you know, completed expeditions. Some of the expeditions will give you a ooh, sharp ship, sorry, easily distracted. But um, doing your expedition, you can, you know, pick up some glyphs. Some, um, some of the expeditions will give you your glyphs. So if you have your glyphs, great. If not, you know, we'll look on here on the other side. And it's where you, so most of the time you see them. But if you hit these little yellow boxes and it says encrypted navigation data. So sometimes it'll give you navigation data, other times it'll give you nanites. So you can come to these little sets, and they're all going to give me nanites, right? So I happen to have some navigation data. So there's one, there's an extra one I get. So we come in here, um, alright, grab my nanites, always grab my nanites. So, okay, we have one over here. Now, all space stations are going to be different. Some of them will have a bunch of them like they do here. Some of them will have desks set up when you can get a bunch of them there. And shoot over to the other side. And if you look around, when you look around on this side, and sometimes over in that little... Um, store that I just came out of you find a traveler and if you talk to the traveler and you answer his question and you go back to him and you can ask him about his past and he will give you a site to a grave okay and you'll have to do that 16 times if you haven't gotten them in the expedition so let's see what this gives us more nanites okay so right now I have I got nine of them I'm good but in order to do this you need to come over here to the cartographer you want to talk to this guy yes sir yeah uh-huh I understand yes I like to buy some charts off you but you want to exchange it for a specific chart and you know you can get your different charts out of here what you're looking for is ancient artifacts sites Okay, so I'm going to get about five of them. So, I got my five. And then you want to run over here to your ship, right? Now, 
what I like to do, because if I'm going to do a portal and I'm going to uh, make a base, right, I don't want to try to find a specific type of planet. So, I'd like to li live on a nice planet, not a very harsh living planet. But you can come in here and you also you can hit your X or what the square or whatever on the PlayStation and plot your route and it'll give you a route. But what I like I say, what I want to do is I want to look for a base. I want to set up a base somewhere. So okay, you pull out of here. I got a paradise planet. All right. So let's come over this way. And we're going to come down to the Paradise Planet. Alright. So we're going to fly down to this thing. And we're going to get into the atmosphere. You know. Now like I said. You can set off these charts anywhere you want. But. If it gives you. If you get in the atmosphere of a planet. It will usually give you the locations on this specific planet. So it kind of helps you a little bit. So you come in here. We're going to set this thing off. And actually what we're looking for is an alien monolith. Okay. So that's alien artifacts. So get some artifacts from over there to make some money. But if you don't get it the first time. That's why we picked up about five of them. So we set it off again. And there's your monolith, okay? So you got your ruin there and your monolith. So we're going to tag the monolith and we're going to head over here to this monolith. A little ways away, so we're going to come up and we'll warp down to it. Or pulse down to it, excuse me. As long as I've been playing this game, I still don't have the terminology right. So, but it is what it is. I make my own rules. Alright, so you come in here. So, what you can do, I like to park by the steps so we can get out quickie. So, get out of here, get out of your ship, and you get a save, okay? Oh, you can come over here, get out of this, you know, learn your words, you get more words out of it. You get three of these on each of your monoliths. And with this being a Viking system, let me check, because when... You have to come up here to the monolith. It's going to give you a scenario. And you have to pass the scenario. Okay. So once I get my words. I'll get in my ship. And I'll get back into my autosave again. So if you answer correctly. It'll give you a reward. And it will. You'll get a reward. And then you can go back into it again. And get your monolith. Okay. So if not. If you get it wrong. It's not going to give you your portal. Okay, so what you can do is go back, you know, reload your auto save, come back up, and I just did this after because I don't have to learn the words again. But in the Viking system, they're going to give you an effigy, but you actually need to have a Viking, they'll give you the effigy, but in order to get the portal, you have to give it a dagger. So now the Corvax and the Gex systems. Now we've called him off Raider because I do have a dagger in in there. But in the Corvax and the Gex systems, they will um they'll give you what you need for your. So I just want to grab one of them. We'll put this here. I'll organize later. So. And if you don't have a dagger. You can get in your ship. And go out. If you have an economy scanner. You can scan. I can't do it because I'm not in my ship. But 
you can scan for a um, trading station, trading depot. Fly to one of them. Any of the pilots that fly into those systems will have a dagger that you can buy. So, if you do all this, you don't have a dagger, you can set up like a save beacon or something and fly, go to the trade terminal. Um, not a trade terminal, but a, um, the depot. Go to the pilot and you can find your way back here to get your um, portal. Okay, so when you come up here, you're going to go in and sign into this, and it's going to read, rah, 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 learn, tika, dee, 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 what I, I don't know. So, there are three vast columns of words in the ancient structure, each written in a different alphabet. First column's words are like savage runes scratched in the sand. Second shows a sequence of dots. The final column is a wide welcoming letters among the appearing handwritten and hard stone. So you got your Viking, your Corvax, and your and your Gek. So, see, I don't know, I might not get this one. So, first column where Savage Runes. You see. So, since this is a Viking system, I'm going to push my hand against the runes. So, ancient spirits that dwell infused with me in their language and warriors descents. So, I've learned the word reality. I've gotten my standing increased. And it didn't give me anything. Okay. So, but when you come back into it, you have an option. If you get it wrong, you're not going to get this second um, chance to sign into the monolith. So you go into this one, it tells you ancient inhabitants of monoliths accept my presence. They will tolerate a request, locate a portal, and it takes one Viking dagger and a Viking system. So we give them that Viking dagger, energy surge, portal ley lines located. So, now we just got to look around for it. And there it is. You got the portal, so we can mark it, so we know how to do it. It's 13 hours away. All right, so now let's hop in the ship. And we'll come over here. We'll fly over this way. We'll come up into space. And we'll go to the portal. So, and it'll always show you, it'll always give you right where the opening um control panel for the portal is so i'm going to park here because i usually park off to the side of this right so hey i got a portal okay so cool a couple little caves maybe cave uh, that has potential you got your building potential so here's where you come in you'll got your entrance to your portal so, what I like to do is say, there's my entrance there. So, what I'm going to do, we'll come up here a little bit. And we will... We're going to put down a base computer, okay? Ooh, little worms. Flying worms everywhere. Okay, and then we get in here, we'll go into this, and we're going to be, I'll claim this space. I'm not going to claim this space, I will claim this now just for your viewing pleasure, but I will not, it looks like there, well that looks like caves and stuff, okay. So once I get my base established here, I like to try to get up to the high ground. 
Okay, might be a little bit away. But, and then you might need steps and stuff somewhere, but let's just do, actually, let's do it like this. I'm just going to build a little something. just to get it up off the ground I know, go into my camera I like putting a couple of them just to make them look like they're you know, set up your little base all right, so once you got that in there, I mean, you got your base established. You can work on your steps. This might not have been a good place for steps with the hole here. But you get the idea, okay? So let me get out of here. And let's go into this, and I want to delete it. So, so here's a paradise planet, I found a portal, and one more thing I'll do for you guys. So this is going to be a first come first serve basis. So if anybody wants to make a portal base, I'll even load it up, that's fine. It's not going to last. Let me load this. Uh, just to show you how to load up your portal. Okay, so now the portal's loaded up. And we'll come in here. And you can go anywhere you want. Okay, now that you got your portal. But what I'm going to do here for you guys is I'm going to request this address. And if you look up in the screen there, this is the glyphs to this portal. Exactly this portal. Okay, so if anybody wants to set up a base on a portal, on a paradise planet, and copy down these glyphs and they you, know, you know have at it I'm, you know no problem I just want I'm I'm set to have one base in each galaxy that I go to and I already have my Euclid this is in Euclid and by the way so I already have my base for Euclid in there I'm sure you a couple of you have seen it before but that's how you, that's what you need to do so just remember you need your navigation data to get some navigational maps to find a monolith you got to solve the riddle of the monolith and um you know give it a gift sometimes it gives you a gift if not you have to find one but um and then you go to your portal that's about it so Anybody out there wants this portal to make a base on, you know, set up your base, let me know when and let me know if you do. That would be cool. I'd like to go there and maybe come back and see it or something. So but until the next time guys, y'all have a good day and I'll catch you on the rebound. Thanks.